what's going on? Andre Ferguson here, Dragon Farmer, q and time. Okay, okay. So we're just gonna run through the questions, right? We're gonna see what we got here. There's like 50 of them, I'm gonna pick out like 10. Pick out like 10. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, they got a good question right here, right? When are you guys going to restock all the supplements? I don't know the answer to that, but I would like to know it too. But look, this is what it is, guys. It's not that we don't restock the supplements, it's that, yo, you guys are buying so much of the damn product that we can't even keep the shit on the shelves. Appreciate you guys for that though, appreciate you guys. But we're gonna do our best to keep them restocked. Stay tuned. Question number two. Ooh, this is a good one. What made Dragon Pharma stick out, compare, stick out most compared to other brands? Okay, number one is I'm gonna tell you this. I like hardcore brands. If you check out all the brands I've been with, they're hardcore brands. I like hardcore supplements with hardcore brands. Like if Rob, Big Rami could take it, I'm pretty sure I could take it. But um, dope people, man. The, the people up top, the bosses, it's a dope company. Like they're into bodybuilding. It's not just a supplement company that's there to make money. Yeah, they're there to make money, but they love bodybuilding at the same time. So that's one of the main reasons. Another main reason is, yo, they didn't try to lowball me in the contract. A lot of companies out here to try to lowball you in the contract. Yo, Dragon Pharma gave me a legit deal off the first proposal. So appreciate you guys for that. Question number three, guys. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> I like this. You really think I'll ask a question? No questions, man. You are awesome. Whoever wrote that is, oh, Nick underscore RJ underscore 24. Appreciate you, brother. What we got, what we got, what we got. Next question, question number four. How to approach going into your first show? Another good question. Hire a really good coach, not the little douchebag at your gym, because every douchebag at every gym says they coach people and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. So I'm gonna say hire a good coach. And then number two, yo, go hard, bro. Like, don't, don't leave anything on the table. Go hard into your prep. And follow the plan, man. Follow the plan, trust the plan, stick to the plan. Question number five. How is Champ doing? Yo, man, Champ's the man. Champ's good, man. Champ's real good, actually. My brother got a pit bull, so Champ's fucking loving this shit over here in New York because, yo, if anybody knows Frenchies, they have separation anxiety. So he got another fan. He got another person to play with, so they be chilling. Next question, question number six. What is your favorite moment of your bodybuilding career so far? Hmm. Yo, y'all would probably think it's a win, but it's not. My favorite fucking moment in my bodybuilding career is when Raymond won the Olympia and I got second. I felt like I won too. So that was probably one of my favorite moments, man. Shout out to my crimey Raymond, man. That's the homie. But yeah, man, that was a dope moment, man. I was actually really happy for him. Some people just never happy for anybody else. They only happy for themselves if they win. But that shit was like I won, bro. So that was my favorite moment. <laughs> Look at this question, right? Which ranking you are expecting this year at the Olympia, right? My question is this. Do you think I'm going to say last? Like, do you think I'm going to say third or second? I don't understand the question because anybody in their right mind is going to say first, right? So the answer's first, but that's the answer, yeah. I think that was like question number six. Let's keep it rolling, though. Let's keep it rolling. Oh, what is the best diet for our body? The best diet is any diet you can stick to. Trust me, there's more than one way to skin a cat. They all work, but the one that works the best is the one you can stick to without cheating. So. Whatever you can do to not cheat on your diet, that's the diet for you. How to get smaller waist. How to get smaller waist? Diet. You have to diet and diet and diet. It's just like having abs. People ask, how do you get abs? Do you train them? Well, to get abs, I say this, right? If you just want abs, you gotta lower your body fat. But if you want them to reach out and touch somebody, like, you know what I mean? Your girl's sitting on the couch over there, you want them to just jump off and touch her? Then you're gonna have to train them then. But um, yeah, smaller waist, diet. Question number eight, people. Question number eight, what does that motivate you to push past beyond your limits? Honestly, man, yo, my goals, man. I really don't go off motivation, but what motivates me, if there is any motivation, is the goals I'm trying to accomplish, man. I already know that I gotta outwork everybody. Yo, everybody working hard. This is what a lot of people say, this bullshit too. Oh, nobody outworks me. The fuck you mean nobody outworks you? How you know how everybody else working? What you can say is that I refuse to be outworked, which means you are working just as hard as the hardest working person out there. But my goals. Question number nine, people. Who are your go-to artists on your workout playlist? Oh, it's a good one. Davies, 50 Cent, Meek Mill. Those are my three go-tos, man. All day, all day. And then we got question number 10. This is a good question because this was something that we're gonna parlay into next show. Everybody wants to ask what my plans are and what the next show is. This is the last question, so we're gonna put the phone away. So, um, next show. All right, what the plans are. 
Well, I plan on doing the Arnold, right? So they say the Arnold is supposed to be in September, one of the last weeks. But the cutoff date for this year's Olympia to qualify is September 12th, which means that this year's Arnold, if they have it, probably won't qualify you for the Olympia this year. So we threw up an audible in the air, you know what I mean? I had to call the Peyton Manning, um, Peyton Eli Manning, Omaha, 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 Omaha. So guys, we taking it back to Tampa. I won the show last year, also won it in 2016. Dragon Farm and the whole family was there. We did a dope little video. So, um, Tampa Pro's in August. I think, um, second week of August. So we're gonna start prep, which is eight or nine weeks out, I'm pretty sure, June 1st. So June 1st starts prep, and the plans are Tampa Pro, people. You know what? I think we ran through it some quick. They got a couple more good questions, so we're gonna answer a couple more, y'all. So we got one right here, right? If you had to change something you were doing in the past, what is it and why? Honestly, I wouldn't change much. There's some moments, though, I would relive twice, though. I'm not gonna lie, man. I wouldn't really change shit, but I would relive some moments twice. What kind of mentality do you have while working out? Honestly, man, I'm in a borderline psychotic state of mind. I just like putting my headphones on and doing my work, man. I don't like talking because when I get into my music, I really, really like, I'm like streamlined focused on it. So um, even when I train with Al, man, yo, me and Al have workouts where we worked out for two hours and we might've said five words to each other, shit like that. So um, I just get in my zone and I just really, really focus on what I'm trying to do in my workouts. That was a good question though. Let's see what else we got here, man. Best exercise for back width and best exercises for back thickness. Well, back width is gonna be lat pull down, wide grip, pull ups, stuff like that, um, pull overs. And then uh, for back thickness, man, I like bent over rolls and I like rack pulls, man. Those are my go-to for back thickness. How do you train if you're overweight and have a physical impairment? I suggest you ask a doctor that, like me. I ain't no doctor, so I couldn't tell you the answer to that. I suggest you ask a doctor though. This guy said, this guy asked why the beard? Who asked another grown man why the beard? Like, leave it up to the female sex about the beard. But I'm gonna tell you the reason why the beard. Cause the chicks love it, man. Chicks dig it. Chicks dig the beard, yo. Shout out to my beard, yo. Oh, B-Dub. Shout out to B-Dub. B-Dub the homie, man. Focus on Olympia and Arnold only or planning on popping up before then? I kind of answered that before. B-Dub, I really wanted to plan our plan focus on, on just the Arnold and the Olympia, but we had to throw up the audible, so it's gonna be Tampa and the Olympia. But yeah, that's it. This question, all right, I'm gonna answer this question just because it makes no sense and it's funny, but it has to be answered. This guy asks, would you ever date a gay guy who you're really into? I'm not gay, so I'm never gonna be into any gay guy. That shit don't even make sense. Like, that don't make no sense. I'm not gay, I'm sorry dude, like, pardon me, I'm not sorry, shout out to my gay guys out there, I appreciate y'all, but I'm not gay man, so miss me with that. Which supplement is best for muscle recovery? I got two, protein and glutamine. What would you tell young Dre if you go back in time and start the bodybuilding game? Young Dre, man, young Dre was wild. But I wouldn't say nothing, man. I wouldn't change nothing because young Dre went harder than this old Dre. Like when I was a young, when I was in the early stages of this bodybuilding shit, I went hard. I did six, seven shows every se every season. So it's because I was really, really on it like that. But no, I wouldn't change anything, man. Maybe even go even harder. Step on more throats. Ooh, what's your favorite Dragon Farmer supplement? This is an easy one, man. Mr. Veins by far. Like that pump shit is off the hook. I've tried other pump agents, but Mr. Veins is where it's at, people. And yo, no little school, people. Always the big school. Always the, always the big school. Yeah, Mr. Veins, always the big school. How do you improve body parts if you're already at the weight cap for your division? You can't, like, cause look, right? I was talking about this with like Breon. Breon's at the weight cap, so he really can't make improvements to beat Seabum because he has to put on more size to do it. So you're kind of handcuffed with that one, my man. The only way, the only way I can say it is by decreasing size on another body part, but that defeats the purpose. Your strength is still your strength. So um, you kind of just gotta go up to the next division, dude. Best way to stay lean year round. Don't stuff your pie hole with everything you fucking see, man. I like cookies too, man, but sometimes you gotta pass up on them. What are your top three subs, if any, peak week? Honestly, I don't really take subs peak week at all. Like, I cut out all the subs besides my favorite. What, that was my, now, this is one of my second favorites, maybe third favorite at Dragon Farmer. Dry up, man. Expel all that water off the body. So that's one of the supplements I take all the way up to the show. Dragon Farmer, dry up. Check it out, man. But I think we're going to end the questions there, people. We did more than 10. We gave y'all some bonus questions. Andre Ferguson, Dragon Farmer. Check it out, man. Hit the subscribe button, man. Tune in next time. See y'all later.